Battlefield 4 Showdown Live. Watch the USA take on Europe live and interactive from London, England, November 1st on Xbox Live at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Enroll for action now at battlefield.com slash showdown. It's going to be a very long day. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. All right, perfect. Thanks, guys. Good morning. Uh, we have some rehearsals today. We're going to get some hands on time, but uh, this is going to be an awesome, awesome <coughs> show. Hey folks, I am Evil Viking 13 here with a recap of the Battlefield 4 Showdown Live from London, England. I had the awesome opportunity to actually go over to England right there in downtown London last week and participate in this event fighting for the USA team. A lot of you guys are probably PC players and I am definitely a primary PC gamer myself but no matter what your platform preference is, this was a huge deal for Battlefield Esports, and it was so awesome to be a part of it. EA and Microsoft hosted the event and shipped 64 players, that's right, 32 versus 32, over to London to compete for the event. We were also playing on the yet unreleased Xbox One and on some of the new Second Assault maps, that's the Battlefield 3 style map pack coming up for Battlefield 4. And I'm going to have a second video coming up in a few days talking about my thoughts as a PC gamer on the Xbox One and on Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One. But I will say right here that once we actually got in there and had some hands-on time with the game, the game is insane amounts of fun. This is going to be the first time that console players are going to have the full Battlefield experience on consoles. 60 FPS and 64 players plus the commander plus the spectator mode. Putting aside the rest of the talk about the Xbox One specifically for a later video, let's talk about the event. We flew out on a Tuesday of that week, we had two days of rehearsals, and let me tell you guys, this was the first time in a long while that I've been involved in a live production like this, and this is probably, I'd say, you know, I'd, I'd say definitely the biggest production I've ever been a part of, and it was actually a lot of work. Don't get me wrong, a free trip to London was awesome, but we mostly saw London from the outside of our bus windows as we were trucked back and forth from our hotel to the venue site in downtown. It was a lot of rehearsing and a lot of work and a lot of standing. One of the best investments that I made on the entire trip was stopping by a local pharmacy that was actually in a mall just below our venue and picking up some gel inserts for my shoes because we were standing at the platforms at the Xbox Ones for hours and hours at a time doing rehearsals and doing scrums. Besides just the fact that I was invited to compete in this event, one of the coolest parts about the entire trip was getting to meet a bunch of guys from YouTube in real life. I got to meet uh, Manus, Daskro, uh, Pacer, Shibby, um, just a bunch of the guys that I've been hanging out with, uh, checking out their videos and stuff online. It was just really awesome to actually get to meet them in real life. And I know that ahead of the event, there was a lot of uh, trash talking going on on YouTube, EA had some kind of tongue-in-cheek videos about, you know, EU versus USA, and 
a lot of the fans seem to really be getting into those videos, getting really, really competitive, and some really just downright vile trash talking was going back and forth. Uh, but none of that was seen at the actual event. Both teams, EU and USA, shared a hotel. We were constantly hanging out at the bar, at the grill downstairs, at the hotel. Everybody was getting along awesome, and it was really cool to meet some of the European guys as well. Everybody was a great sport, and that's something that you might not have realized looking at some of the, the comments going on online, but there was not a huge cash prize at stake, and yeah, it was a bit competitive because uh, it was set up to be Europe versus the USA, but at the same time, everybody was getting along really well, and uh, it was just a lot of fun for everybody. I do have to say that the sportsmanship was really great to see, and with how well everybody got along, it really made me want to come back and do this kind of event again. It was overall just great to be a part of. Another really cool part about going to participate in the Showdown Live was getting to meet some of the guys from DICE. I got to meet Alan Kurtz, the lead multiplayer designer on Battlefield 4. I got to meet Daniel Matrose, who was the community manager for DICE but is now actually working as a gameplay designer on the game. And my personal favorite, as a 3D artist myself, I got to meet Dennis, who is on the level design team, and who will actually be working on Star Wars Battlefront 3 coming up. I hope that all of you guys had a chance to watch the event live, but if you haven't watched it yet, it's actually really, really intense, and the whole thing is available to watch on battlefield.com forward slash showdown. If you haven't watched it yet, go over there and check it out. I will be doing a second highlights video where I'll be showing you guys some of the stuff that I was up to during the showdown live that you might not have seen because the shoutcasters weren't showing me at the time. So watch out for that video. So let's talk about the match itself. If you haven't heard the results, spoiler alert, the USA took the entire match 3-0. That was two matches of conquest and one match of obliteration, the bomb and destroy mode. I have gotten some questions about why I thought that the USA was able to win just absolutely totally across the board like that, and I think the number one answer is that we simply have more freedom. But if you were to ask me seriously why the USA won, I think it's really because of our communications. Uh, our team leaders, including uh, Dasgro and BreadFX, I think those were our, our two main ones right there. These guys helped to get together some strategies ahead of time, I'm talking weeks ahead of time, to break down the maps that we might be playing on, and then we divided up into squads, each squad got their assigned roles, and we stuck to it, and when it was time for practice, we practiced our roles. When it came time for the actual matches, everyone knew where they were supposed to go, and what they were supposed to be doing. When things changed during the match, our team leaders communicated quickly via shouting, which you can hear in the background of the live stream. but we were able to be flexible and still focused on our roles. In the end, teamwork between our air support, our squad leaders, our commander, and our squads really saved the day for the USA team. At the same time, although we cleaned up pretty well during scrums, the European team pulled out all the stops for the live matches, and there were a couple times there where the whole US team was definitely sweating. Like, these guys brought the heat in those final matches, which is really why they're so much fun to watch, because there's a bit of back and forth there. It gets really, really intense. As I already mentioned, the sportsmanship was just great. These guys were, uh, were very gracious in defeat, and although we kind of hammed it up for the live stream, you know, with our USA chance, and we were encouraged to, you know, really get into it and be high-fiving and carrying on, uh, it was all in good spirits, and we, uh, we really just had a good time. Everyone was just really happy to be there, and I would love to be able to go back and do something like that again. That was just overall an incredible experience. Big thanks to EA and to Microsoft for putting this thing together, and to all of the people involved in production, which was a massive team, of course. Honestly, it was incredible. So glad I got to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little breakdown of the trip, and I will see you all next time.